Namaste. In this podcast, I have shared many details on Mula Trikon Rashi. Mula Trikon Rashi means the favorite Rashi of a particular planet. In real life, also, each one of us have someone who is our favorite. In my case, Mohan is my favorite. Similarly, in your case, somebody must be your favorite. Similarly, the planet also has their own favorite Rashis. But along with the details of Mula Trikon, I have also shared few beautiful stories, stories of Buddha. And I'm sure you will resonate with it, especially if you are a meditative being. So let's begin. Every planet has been assigned with two signs. So then when the Mahadasha begins, which sign of the two actually provides positive results. This was the question that came a few days ago. Always remember that everybody has a favorite. My favorite is someone. Your favorite is someone. We all have our favorites. Buddha's favorite disciple was Ananda. For 40 long years, Ananda followed Buddha like a shadow. Although he was never enlightened until Buddha left his body, it was only after Buddha died, Ananda became enlightened. Jesus' favorite was John. Krishna's favorite was Arjuna. So you see, everybody has a favorite. Similarly, Every planet too has a favorite zodiac sign. The scriptures address these favorite zodiac signs of planets as Mool Trikon Rashi. It is an Indian word which specify the favorite Rashi of a certain planet. Now let us see which Rashi or zodiac sign is the favorite of the planets. Jupiter loves Sagittarius and there is a reason for it. Sagittarius is straight, no double meanings, no two ways like Pisces. It is straight like the arrow and the sign itself has an arrow shooting man with a body of a horse. That is the symbol of Sagittarius sign. So you see, Jupiter likes someone who is straight. I too like people who are straight. Just a few days ago, late night, a person had called. And the person goes round and round and round and I tell him, please come to the point. But some people don't get it. And then they themselves become depressed. So anyways, 
Jupiter loves Sagittarius. The Mool Trikon Rashi of Jupiter is Sagittarius. Next, Venus. Venus loves Libra, and you know why? Because Venus is a dealer, and a dealer or a businessman need to balance everything. A good dealer need to have a balanced perspective, and guess what? The symbol of Libra sign is also reflected or displayed. by the scales a man can succeed in a business only when he has a strong venus always remember this next mars mars loves aries sign mars is also straight like jupiter but the difference is here the straightness is more visible through direct action you see and so mars loves aries because aries is a sign that will simply say it on your face if he loves you he will say i love you period and if he hates you he will simply say i hate you period so you see even to propose the girl or the woman you love you need some daring some courage and aries is the sign that provides a perfect ground for mars to do what he wants to do it is always the man who proposes a woman proposing is not so exciting it is always the man the interesting point is that the woman will wait the woman will wait and wait and wait and she is perfectly aware that some day the man she loves is going to come and propose her the woman never speaks a single word about marriage but she is 100% sure that the man will come and propose her if a woman comes and proposes you will simply be put off she waits she may be thinking and dreaming but she will wait the proposal must come from the man he should take the initiative he should be aggressive that's what the woman wants that's what the woman likes that's what the woman expects from the man she loves on the circumference she will behave in such a way that she seems absolutely innocent does not know what you are talking about but she has been planning and planning and waiting and waiting for when will you come and propose her and only a true martian or a sign that is the perfect ground for mars to operate dashingly and romantically is aries and not scorpio the word romance itself means adventure and in the 12 signs that we have in this human galaxy the only sign that is romantic in the true sense is the very first sign of this zodiac aries and mars loves aries aries is a male goat which simply reflects the dashing the straight forward quality that a male goat has and so Mars loves Aries. Aries is the Mool Trikon Rashi of Mars. Next, Mercury loves Virgo. Virgo is a sign of detailing, details and details and very very minute details is what this sign loves. They just love to analyze. Whenever a man or woman has more planets in Virgo sign they are the ones who simply love analyzing and detailing which is the perfect ground where mercury feels home you see every planet 
has two signs allocated but there is always a favorite mercury's favorite is the virgo sign gemini is too shallow chit chat and gossips and so on but intellectualism is seen in virgo and mercury just loves intellectualism he just loves logic and virgo is where the logic is far deeper than in gemini mercury loves virgo although gemini and virgo both are ruled by mercury the feminine the youthfulness the analysis the logic all of this comes to its full circle in the virgo zodiac sign and so see the sign symbol of virgo she is a female a virgin thinking analyzing and basically busy in her own world that is how the symbol of the zodiac sign virgo is and then we come to saturn saturn loves aquarius we indeed are living in an aquarius age an age where discrimination is no more allowed on the name of religion caste color or community saturn loves all of this saturn is the only planet that wants equal pay equal rights and so aquarius is the sign that is totally rational by nature they will be very practical they will not understand the language of the heart they only understand the language of mathematics the language of the head the language of the logic and so saturn loves all such pragmatic people who just follow the practical way of life and so now that you all have found which sign of the two signs is the favorite of the planets let us take a quick tour of signs that are not liked by the planets pisces is not a favorite of jupiter because you all know that the favorite of jupiter is sagittarius gemini is not a favorite of mercury because you all know that the favorite of mercury is virgo taurus is not a favorite of venus because you all know that libra is the favorite of venus scorpio is not a favorite of mars because now you all know that the favorite of mars is aries capricorn is not a favorite of saturn because now you all know that the favorite of saturn is aquarius sign so during the mahadasha the house ruled by the favorite signs will give positive results irrespective of whether the house is negative meaning whether the house is 6 8th or 12th and the house ruled by the non favorite signs which we just discussed those signs will give negative results irrespective whether the house they rule is positive meaning 1 5 9 10 or 11 so results come from both signs of the same planet but you have to first see who is the favorite the whole point comes down to favoritism favoritism is simply connect with nature my nature is to share to give to laugh to live to love and to let go now if i meet someone with a similar kind of nature it is obvious that he or she will be my favorite you see nature attracts nature in the indian context it is called 
स्वभाव मीनिंग सेल्फ एक्सप्रेशन यू सी बुद्धा लव्ड आनंदा बिकॉज देर वॉज समथिंग इन बुद्धा दैट वॉज ऑल्सो इन आनंदा मेनी पीपल हैव अ रॉन्ग एजम्शन दैट ऑल सेंट्स आर लाइक बुद्धा नो बुद्धा इज बुद्धा हिज वे टू डील विथ पीपल वॉज वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड जेंटल बट यू डोंट नो बोधि धर्मा The distance between Gautam Buddha and Bodhi Dharma is of thousand years. Bodhi Dharma is the disciple of the disciple of the disciple of Buddha. But to Bodhi Dharma and such men there is no time, no space. For Bodhi Dharma these are contemporaries. Between them and you also there is no gap. If you can relate to their message, their sharing Buddha radiates power but his power is silent like a whisper a cool breeze Bodhi dharma is a storm thundering and lightning Buddha speaks but Bodhi dharma roars Buddha comes to your door without making any noise Buddha will not shake you even if you are asleep and Bodhi dharma he will wake you from your grave he hits hard he is a hammer buddha is the soft version bodhi dharma is the harder version of buddha and it was bodhi dharma who traveled from india to china to spread the message of buddha and he revolutionized the far east bodhi dharma was simply a diamond a unique beautiful raw diamond The master says there have been many buddhas in the world but bodhi dharma stands out like everest bodhi dharma is the bold version of buddha and so let it be very clear that there are great divine masters who are not gentle and soft like buddha but are like the lion like bodhi dharma that if you try to annoy them they will roar like a lion bodhi dharma the great divine master who initiated the zen teachings in china was indeed a lion a great lion but one has to understand that it is not the favorite that always comes first ananda was a favorite of buddha but ananda was also the last when it came to attaining enlightenment you all will be surprised to know that the very first disciple of buddha to attain enlightenment was not ananda but mahakashyap mahakashyap was a great philosopher and scholar he comes to become a disciple of buddha buddha accepts him Mahakashyap starts living with Buddha but he won't speak much The other disciples asked why you don't speak why you don't ask any question to the master Mahakashyap said the truth is that I don't want to say anything because I don't want to go beyond disciplehood saying anything coming into the light becoming important in buddha's eyes is dangerous i simply want to sit in a corner and just enjoy the presence of the divine master i had come to seek the truth but now i do not have any desire for it i had come here for enlightenment i had dropped all the ideas now i have dropped the idea just to be in the presence of this man just to feel his love showering his silence penetrating to the very core of my being is so much that to ask for more is simply ungratefulness mahakashyap would simply sit in a corner never asked any question to buddha and yet it was mahakashyap who became the first disciple of buddha who attained enlightenment 
when hearts connect with the master then words are not required communication starts happening in silence and real communication happens only in silence mahakashyap was the first disciple of buddha to attain enlightenment and the only thing known about him is that he laughed when he attained enlightenment buddha looked at him and said mahakashyap you never speak why are you laughing he said it's hilarious i was trying to hide myself so that i wouldn't come into the direct focus of you and there are so many who are desirous of enlightenment of truth of the ultimate that i thought let all of them reach i can wait this waiting is so beautiful but i had to laugh because i am the first to have entered the world of enlightenment and i never asked about it it happens it always happens that the one who is favorite remains behind and the one who is never given any privileges goes beyond attains the peak and so even though some of you may fall in the signs that the planets don't consider as their favorite still it is this signs through which someone as great as mahakashyap emerges and so it is always good to remain not a favorite because not all favorites succeed but those who are not favorites can succeed because they are not living with any assumptions they have absolutely no expectations and because they do not have any expectations they succeed fast than those who remain favorites life indeed is a strange mathematics in school they teach 2 plus 2 is 4 but that is not what happens in the real life in the real life 2 plus 2 is never 4 2 plus 2 is simply two twos who have come together so the favorite signs may give you good results but it is always wise to remember that a crop becomes pregnant with good quality grains only when it goes through the hard weather the rains the storms only then the crop is enriched with superior quality of grains and so instead of the favorite signs my whole focus is on those who are not favorite because it is through them that one day a mahakashyap can emerge and so never run away from challenges and difficulties because it is these difficulties that shape you transform you into a beautiful person always remember we can appreciate the light of the day only when we go through the dark tunnels of our life and so to all my fellow travelers listeners i insist that do not fear any mahadasha because a life is a journey and mahadasha or periods of certain planets is simply a flow a process that god wants us to go through and it may happen that you may wonder why it is happening only with me but god has an answer god says you don't understand now what i am doing but some day you will and so always trust god always trust his process because he knows the best faith in god includes faith in his timing always remember everything is needed even the thorns are good when you realize that those thorns are also a part of the flower that you seek 
and the moment this realization comes you can accept the thorns too and the moment acceptance comes in your life you are on the right path you are on the greatest journey of your life the journey of transformation the journey of self realization my new book beauty of acceptance tathat has been released worldwide on amazon you all can avail a copy whenever you get time it is said that it is the book that finds you always remember time is never the same situations are never the same people are never the same everything changes change is constant except change everything else changes so if you are going through low period don't give up keep going and as the time goes by slowly slowly you will start feeling good meditate every day jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम